Hello, my name is Dragos and in this video I will show you how you can make your own URL shortener in WordPress. You may want to use your own branding URL shortener for, uh, for branding purposes also in a report it is shown that short URLs it is helping the click-through rate and uh, it is easier for the visitors to 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 remember the name and uh, maybe use it in the in the browser in this video you will see exactly what you need to to do and install to have your URL shortener hosted in WordPress there are also some some URL shortener alternative out there like uh, like bit bit lie, but uh, but it's better to have your your own URL shortener because you have more control over the links and you and uh, you don't risk for the emails to reach into spam because usually these URL shorteners are sent to spam by various various uh, services so to to have your own URL shortener hosted you will need uh, a domain name you need some hosting and uh, you will need some WordPress URL plugin so for the domain name I am usually using Namecheap to buy my domains so in here First, you need to decide the, the, the domain name that uh, you will use for your custom URL shortener. Usually, the sh shortest ones are better. For example, I have one like uh, like this one from from four letters. If you type it here, then uh, it will search the available ones. Namecheap will search the available, so you, available one. So you see here you have some some domains names like this one. For instance, you can you can buy a short one like uh, let's say it is the CC with just five euros and so on. It it depends on you. I have chosen this one for for my URL shortener. So after you you, you buy the domain. You need to put the name servers on the domain. To do that, you need to go into the domain dashboard. And uh, use the domains that, uh, that your hosting provider has. For this example, I'm using SiteGround. So you log into your cPanel and take the domains from here. And you go to Manage. Under the domain tab, you add the domain, the, the name here in this field. So next, you have the the domain bot. You have the name server added to the hosting. You will need to add the domain name in the in the cPanel. To do that, you need to go to the add-on domains. Let's search it. Okay, it is here. You click on it and you add your, your domain name here like uh, the one you, you bought. For me it will be this one. You put a, here uh, the populate automatic. You put a password here. And you hit add on domain. So right now the domain uh, it is added in here. Next we'll need to to install WordPress. I've also put it all the steps in, in here. So by the domain, you add the domain to the hosting. Next we install WordPress with WordPress installers. To do that, we log into the to the cPanel. 
let's go to the cPanel home here you have WordPress installer and you just see the quick install which is the latest version okay which is the site from here let's put HTTPS here I don't have also a certificate yet for it, we'll generate after. Here you put the directory. Let's I mean need to let it like this because we will not use a directory. Okay, here you put the username, the password. If you want to check the database name and so on, you can do it like this from here but you don't need it and you hit install after and the WordPress will be installed in a couple of minutes so right now we have the domain name and WordPress installed to do next we need to to go another SSL certificate In the security, you will have the SSL certificate. Let me search it here. So you just uh, you just do it like this and install, but you will not go install because the domain is not added in in this cPanel. Okay, next thing is after we have the SL certificate set up, we need to install the, the plugin. So there are uh, two plugins that, uh, that I'm recommending. One, uh, let me go here. One is, uh, let me go to the plugin area. One is URL Shortener and the other one is Thirsty Affiliate. Both are having also free and paid versions. So in here you will see the pro version and it costs $90, $90 for, for the pro. And um, with the pro version you have, uh, you have multiple, multiple options like advanced stats that are are interesting us in this particular way another plugin that can use is Thursday affiliate it is having the same features like uh, like the URL shortener from my team shop except that with this one you you can uh, you can also do your location link redirection you have also the options to use the Amazon API and uh, and so on. If you want, you can you can choose this one to to use for your shortener. It costs point forty nine dollars for one site. So next, after I've decided what plugin we're gonna use, we will need to log in to the to the admin area. It's like this, you the name of the domain with UPN admin, and uh, you need to install the plugin. If you choose the free version, just go into plugins, add new, and search for the for the plugin. Is this one? You can hit install now, and we'll install. I already have the pro version install so I will not do that next you need to you will, you will go and uh, add your first links so to add a link you just go into short links tab and hit the add link in here you put the, the affiliate link in case for instance you have like uh, like an affiliate program and they offer the link like for for instance 
for instance, you can put the from, uh, affiliate form from SiteGround hosting company. In this area, you have the options to to put the the short name. You can you can put anything you want. I have used SG for instance, and the header I will use 301 permanent redirect for these links. I've created also some categories in here and this is a hosting, I put it into the hosting and hit add, add link and this will create your short link. If you go and check the links here, I already added some of them. If you see here, for instance, if you go to M MTS, it's my team shop referral link, if you put it in this, you just go, hit it and it will redirect you to my to my affiliate lead from my team shop. And I have added a couple of links like this. You have the options from here to copy the link if you want. In this area, you have also the, the stats. You, as you can see here, you, I have some, already some clicks on this. If you go here at stats, you will see that you, you can you can check the, the link, hit select, and in here you'll have the referrals and how many how many clicks uh, there were for you from YouTube I had two for instance from the article that I written I have two and and so on. If you check for instance the digital ocean link I I I had this these clicks. So for the for the settings I have uh, I have chosen here to not let the the search engines to to index the site. In in this in this 12 minutes that have passed. I have shown you all the steps that you need to, to do to have your custom URL shortener hosted on WordPress. You can choose from the, the two plugins that I have recommended. In case you have, uh, you have any questions, please drop a comment in case you one, you can subscribe to my video. Thanks for, for watching.